along with uh, Sam Ruff in the number seven car. He's out of Dallas, and we are going to green. Keep you out of Chris Castillo. He's had two feature wins in a row down in Woodstock, Georgia. Going to try to see what he can do here tonight. Here at this Roman International Speedway. Sprint car heat races, gentlemen. You're going next. Sprint car heats. Let's go. And there goes young Matt Smith out of Powder Springs, Georgia. Trying to duplicate what his dad just did. But if he's going to do it, he better get her done in a hurry. Only a six-lap dash. Matt goes down the bottom end of the racetrack. He's got problems, but he regroups down up on the back straightaway. Matt Smith working on Sam Ruff up on the high side as a Head into turn number three. Here come Bruner. Trying to work on the youngster out of Powder Springs. Matt trying to get a run off turn number four. And Sam Ruff kind of shutting the door inappropriately on the youngster out of Powder Springs, Georgia. Chris Castillo probably got about the best seat in the house and fifth spot in the uh, red and black number 22. White flag coming down, one to go. And Anderson up on that high side. It looks like Matt Smith got around Sam Ruff. And the checkered coming for Anderson. Then comes Matt Smith. Then comes uh, Sam Ruff, Mike Bruner, and Chris Costillo. Followed by Millwood, uh, Dusty Chitwood, Chris Corley, and Blake Smith. And a tip of the, the fence. Parents, if those are your kids, let's get them back away. Because I'll tell you, Marvin Thor is going to let them rip on that first lap. Cruisers. And we got a couple of great motors up on that front row. And the Smith family out in front. And we got somebody up against the wall. And that's Jay Carroll, Tim Millwood, and Shane Chitwood. Marvin Ford with the flag in hand, getting ready to flip the switch to go to green. And go to green we go. Oh, Corley getting up on the rail. the field going back to green as Anderson jumping out to a big lead. Here comes Smith, still big Smith again as they head into turn number three and number four. Philip Anderson got a good jump on that restart. Philip Anderson out of Calhoun, Georgia. Here comes young Matt. So Matthew Turner coming off turn number four as Phil Anderson in the 22 car, picking a ride back up where he left off. Here come Buster, and it looks like Jody Dilbeck looping it down here in the corner along with the number one. Once again, Philip Anderson, Calhoun, Georgia. And it looks like the 77 car of Matt Smith in the pit area, and I think he might have a left rear tire going has gone south on him.
Matthew Turner got all kind of problems with his race car. And Lee Sutton in that L7 car, that's that land feed supply company machine. Picking him up, putting him down as they head off turn number four. He's in that third slot. As Matthew Turner, he's going to have to get that car into the pit area. But Philip Anderson out of Calhoun, Georgia, he has got it going his way. Hey, once again, all uh, sandwiches have price down our concession stand area as Lee Sutton in that L7 car jumping up into the number two spot by as he gets around Buster Smith. And I think Buster, he may have some problems because he bobbled a bit coming off turn number two. Let's look at him down in turn three and number four. But now Lee Sutton mashing the pedal just a little bit harder as we got six laps on the board. Lee Sutton slowly but surely trying to reel in your leader. Philip Anderson out of Calhoun, Georgia. Don't know if he's going to be able to do it as we are fast approaching the halfway point on this 20 lap feature event here tonight at Rome Speedway. And there goes Robbie Land in the number one car, getting around Blake Smith as your leaders coming off turn number four. They're going to be going into some lab traffic coming up in the next few laps around this half mile clay bank race at oval and anderson tiptoeing his way around the number three car of blake smith but caution flag being displayed Buster Smith, Mike Bruner battling it out down there in the corner. They're three wide, coming off turn number four. Lee Sutton up high, Bruner in the middle, and Buster Smith down to the bottom. And Bruner in the Cotman Transmissions car. Taking over that uh, second spot. Brewer in the number 22. That's the Newman's used motors and used transmissions car. And Buster Smith going down to the bottom end of the racetrack. That car not exactly doing what it's supposed to do right now. I can tell you that. And Yeomans going to the bottom. Lee Sutton going up on top, losing a lot of valuable ground as Philip Anderson. Man, he's got a mirror full of Mike Bruner out of Douglasville, Georgia. Something breaking on the number 56 of uh, Buster Smith. Or I thought. Caution on the number one car, Robbie Lane. Looking at about five more laps to go, and we're going back to green. So far, so good. Everybody getting back up to speed as Richard Yeoman's working the bottom end of the racetrack. And Alan Brewer now trying to make that uh, late lap charge to the front as here come Richard Yeoman's getting around Brewer. 
over on the bank straight away. Yeoman's taking over that number two spot from Mike Brewer. And here comes Brewer in the blue number 22 car. Caution going to come out as uh, we look like somebody has lost a drive shaft. Here out of Calhoun, Georgia, trying to take this bad boy home. But I'll tell you what, man, you can don't count out these other guys that are making a hard charge to the front of the field as they head off turn number two. Yeoman's on the bottom of the racetrack. Lee Sutton trying to prove his spot over on the backside. Here come Yeomans. One lap to go for Philip Anderson. One lap to go, and he's got about a two car lead advantage over Richard Yeomans over on the back straightaway. And Philip Anderson out of Calhoun, Georgia, going to take the checkered flag, followed by Richard Yeomans, Mike Brunner, Alan Brewer, and Lisa Cantrell rounding out the top five here tonight. Here to Take the checkered flag, followed by Richard Yeomans, Mike Brunner, Alan Brewer, and...